And I'm gonna kind of describe what I think is the greatest machine. This machine can record video. It can create a picture, draw a picture, create music, play music, read a book, walk around, climb a mountain, walk across the floor. Anybody have an idea what that is? It's me. It's you. The way our brain works, the way we can move, the way you're moving your feet and your legs and your hands all right now, there is no machine that we've been able to engineer to do all the really neat things in the size that we do here. It's creating or using engineering to create cool machines to work with this one that I interact with right here. That's biomedical. I get to use my knowledge of the body and the brain and how it works and I combine that with the skills of engineering, this idea of creating something new that's never been created, to make devices that have never been, then I can implant and put in the body or connect to the body to make the body do something that wasn't able to do before. But it also has to do with creating artificial skin, artificial bones, hearts, vessels, valves, all these type of things that go into me to make me function and you function, engineering solutions to that body or connections to the body. That's biomedical engineering. Well, the message is created in my brain. I decide I want to move my hand. And that message travels down the back through a set of wires we call nerves, goes to that hand, and then connects to the muscles here that move these fingers. Okay, so that's how it works. Same it comes down to the brain. What happens if that message path, those wires are broken? And so this is a case where the signal can no longer go from the brain and get to the muscle. Take your, your ring finger here and put that out on your knee. So I'll do it here on the table. But put it on your knee, extend it out in front of you, like this, just the third finger. Curl the other hands up and put just your third finger out. Now, think about that you want to lift that finger off of your knee and try to do it. Try to lift your finger off of your knee. Now, without moving your hand, just lift the finger. It's impossible, isn't it? Now, as a biomedical engineer, the superhero part is how can I make you do that in return to being able to move? What if I could create a solution that would help you move? And that's basically where we use engineering to create new ways of making muscles move and people do things they couldn't otherwise do. We still create real life superheroes every day at Case Western Reserve University and at the Cleveland VA Medical Center and the FES Center. So I create technology, I engineer a solution and I make it. And so you see examples of pictures on the screen, but here is the, these are the things that uh, my colleagues and myself uh, make. This is a device that creates a little electrical signal and we implant that into somebody. We put it in here. Then ultimately we have these artificial wires, these nerves that we can run underneath in the body and connect them up to the muscles there that aren't working any longer. So while the brain isn't connecting it, I can create an artificial little brain that I can stick in the person and create those wires that can make their hand move again. So how do you create the superheroes? First thing is you have to get a good toolbox and you all have the best toolbox with you right now and that's your mind. This is your toolbox. And with that toolbox, you have to fill every toolbox with really good tools. And what are the tools? It's the math, it's science, it's chemistry, and it's physics. These are the tools you get to use. Those are the things to create engineering and to create new things. Cleveland is probably one of the very few places that I'm aware of in the country that has uh, such an uh, excellent environment to combine the engineering and the clinical side of this. We have one of the best healthcare environments um, in the world. And so when you put those two together, it's a really powerful mix for biomedical engineering. It's a great place to work as well to see that things make a difference in people's lives.